All right, guys, in this episode of Dockside TV, we're going to take a ride and fish all kinds of different spots. We're going to hit multiple bridges, going to hit some choke points, we're going to hit some underwater structures, and we're going to be using Charlie's Cajun Cockaho in a couple of different colors. And this is going to be in your monthly bait box, so make sure to subscribe to this and get your hands on these rattling Cajun Cockahoes. This is a really good bait for certain situations, and we're going to put it to the test today. Enjoy this episode here. rug right here baby that's a doormat doormat every once in a while you fishing for them specks one of these rugs pop up yes sir what i'm using today either three eighths or a half ounce jig head right now i got a half on and we got one of charlie's cajun cockahoes on here it's got a really nice rattle in it can hear that little glass bead rattle built into it. It's a little bit of a smaller profile bait. A lot of the trout we're catching up in here aren't really that big. So we want to try a little something smaller. This is the purple with the chartreuse tail. We're going to try a couple different colors today. And we're just going to try to fish areas that don't have a lot of boat pressure and stay secluded and uh, see if we can put a, a mess of fish in a boat here. All right, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. I had a couple bites on here, but nothing too much. We're just going to bounce around today and just show you guys some other places besides the trestle. Check some stuff. If we get on a hot bite, we'll stay on it. But um, if it's just one here, one there, we're just going to keep bouncing around, looking around. We call this like a scouting day. hooked. Stopped at the twin span earlier. Yeah, I've had a few bites, but we just don't have any tod right now. Like, it's barely, barely trickling in. So, I came over to this very defined point that connects the Wrigley's and Pontchartrain. And just, there's a little current here, and I'm just trying to, like, chase some current down. If you look at one of our last Oxide TVs, we were right there at the 90 Bridge, which is another great place to fish when there's a slack tide, but hopefully that tide gets to go and we're gonna run into something here today. We've been bouncing around, picking up a few here and there. Flat daddy. What I'm doing right here is I'm just throwing it up tight to the bank. Pike to the bank, and I'm just dribbling it right off that bank, and it comes to a canyon. So, like the boat's probably in 30 foot, and I'm throwing it in like two foot, and I'm just trying to work that little drop. Oh, he is worn out. 
The net on is really not that big. It's in that deep water. In that deep water. About a about an eight pounder. He might be in the slot too. If he's in the slot, he's close. That's a very valuable fish to those tournament anglers. Again, on that purple and chartreuse, Charlie's Cajun Cockahoe with that rattle in it. Putting some fish together. That makes a Cajun slam there. Beautiful day out here. So this spot had a handful. I can sit here and pluck away at some more, but I'm gonna go ahead and keep checking around. That's that's the name of the game when it comes to scouting. You know, a lot of people, you know, I get it. If you only get to go fishing every once in a blue moon and you catch it to the fish, and you might as well just stay on it and enjoy yourself. But if you like to be out on the water as much as us, the way to stay on top of these fish is to always be moving around, checking areas yet, checking a long time. And that's a very, very important tool in scouting. And that's how we can always we do a good job of staying on top of the fish year round. So we're gonna keep bouncing around and see what else is going on out here. hospital wall. Very well known underground structure we got over here on the Eastern Poncha Train. One of the first casts. Bam! Nice trout. I switched on over to our glove with the chartreuse tail on Charlie's Cajun Cockahoe. Again, they all have the rattle in there. I'm just throwing this off the structure, the underground structure at about 15, 18 foot of water, slowly bouncing it back. Very popular spot right here. Very popular spot. I really like this on a fallen tide. There he is. We seem like the end here pretty good. Is actually behind us right now and there's two major concrete structures one by each pylon that um, shows you where the structure is on low tide you can run into you know your lower unit can hit them so be careful but there's like a trough right here between the hospital wall and land that sometimes they'll be right close to the wall sometimes they're way off you just gotta float around and find where they're wanting to hang out. This is one of the better spots in Pontchartrain. And it's a, uh, a good fall and tide spot. We're still on like a slack to slight incoming right now. There it was, misty. Some years it's all two to four pounders here. Some years it's all 12 inchers. This is a really good spot in May and again in October, November. When you're fishing at deeper water like this, you know, it takes about 12 to 15 seconds for it to get to the bottom. So you want to be patient before you begin your retrieve. See, I'm still waiting for it to get to the bottom. Well, once I feel it hit, I start dribbling it back to the boat and pay very close attention as them little trout in this deep water, very hard to, hard to feel. There he is.
another decent little trout. We'll leave here in a few minutes as we gave this a nice little check and it's seems to have fish also like a few more casts and then go check something else a day of scouting right here and putting charlie's cajun cockaho to the test Lot of shorts. When it's a lot of small fish, you're just gonna miss a bunch of them. That's all part of it. All part of it. Every year in the spring, when we get around that May time, it starts to seem like the shorts start showing up pretty uh, regularly. I don't think this is a short though. He about ripped the pole out of my hand. About ripped the pole out of my hand. This is a good one. Yep. That's a keeper. That's a keeper. Alright, so this is like spot number five. Just about everywhere has been producing some fish. Been sticking with that Charlie's Cajun Cockaho all day. I'm gonna go ahead and move from here and try something different. There we go. On the way back in, the tide started trickling in some. So I wanted to go ahead Try that twin span one more time. Sure enough, second set of poles, boom. Nice, I don't know, 16 inch trout, 15 inch trout or so. On the glow, Charlie's Cajun Cockaho. We're gonna go ahead and close it out here. We've been all over the lake today, tried a bunch of different places, showed you guys a lot of different things to look for and places to fish and how to do it. And I hope you enjoyed this episode of Dockside TV. Make sure to subscribe to the monthly bait boxes. We'll be mixing and matching different colors that we put in there for this episode. I mean, for this um, month's bait box of Charlie's Cajun Kako. Subscribe to our YouTube channel as we go over all kinds of places to fish for these silver beauties like this. Until next time, good fishing.